Ezekiel chapter 18, verse 30, and it reads, Therefore I will judge you, O house of Israel, everyone according to his ways, saith the Lord. Repent and turn yourselves from all your transgressions, so iniquity shall not be your ruin. Cast away from you all your transgressions, whereby ye have transgressed, and make you a new heart and a new spirit. For why will ye die, O house of Israel? For I have no pleasure in the death of him that dieth, saith the Lord. Wherefore, turn yourselves and live ye. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth. According to the Bible, peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akims. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith regardless of people here for a bear. Repent, Israel. You got the man of the Lord on, on the highways and byways, crying aloud, sparing not, lifting up their voices like trumpets, showing Israel where they're going off at. According to the Bible. And the Lord said he's going to judge every Israelite man. And every Israelite woman, according to their ways, according to their deeds. And the Lord ain't playing with it with none of us, really. Never play it around. You better go read the history. When the God of the Bible, when the Heavenly Father, the Most High, Yahweh, who they're going to call God, got angry with the children of Israel, you better go read those different accounts. Now, this word is out, out on the highways and byways all throughout the Internet. We know right from wrong. We know right from wrong. All right? So now our mind state should be pleasing the Lord. Let's get this again. This is going to be something quick too, man. The Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that don't repent, you're you, you, you going you gonna to die, man. All right? A horrible death too. Going right back to um, Romans the 6th chapter. At the bottom, I think it's verse 23. Philadelphia, yawning and stuff. It's been a long day. Friday, just trying to just get, just throwing something out there for the whole for elected the nation of Israel. Repent, Israel, and live, man. You see? Let's get this again. Ezekiel chapter 18, verse 30. And it reads, Wherefore, I will judge you, O house of Israel, with earthquakes, with storms, with floods, with plagues, all of the above, right? With all the little evils. The scriptures tell us, oh, what is it, Zeph Zephaniah? Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 5. The just Lord is in the midst thereof. He would not do iniquity every morning, do if he bring his judgment to light. But, but the unjust, look, every morning he bring his judgment to light, he fell if not. But the unjust, no, no shame. I'm going to be quoting some scriptures too. So the Lord said, I'm going to judge you. That's why we got to watch as well as pray that we're kind of worthy to escape all these things, to escape the judgments, man. It's coming forth. Oh, house of Israel, I will judge you, oh, house of Israel. Look, our, our people before us a place, which represents the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and, and it's going forth now. Lucky Israel, doing all this yawning. The Lord said he, he's angry with the wicked every day, right? It says, everyone according to his or her ways. Because there's a way that seems right unto a man and a woman, but the end thereof leads to you being deleted, right? It says, save the Lord Yahweh through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. Look, repent. That's what the Lord, that's all the Lord wants. He wants us to repent. He commands us to repent. Remember, there's no respect to person. I'm going to see if I can get that too. Repent, turn back sorrowful, remorseful, regretful for all our wrongful thoughts, says and doings in this life and our former lives. Israel, we, we've been going on for a long time, man. Ever since the garden, right? Repent and turn yourselves from all your transgressions. What a transgression sin. 
sin upon sin, the breaking of the laws, right? So iniquity, wickedness should not be your ruin. And it's going to be the ruin of the majority of our people, their wickedness, right? Cast away from you all your transgressions. That's sin, right? Because sin is the transgression of the law. You can get 1 John 3 and 4. Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law, for sin is the transgression of the law, right? It says, cast away from you all your transgressions, whereby ye have transgressed, and make you a new heart. Because remember, a new mind. Because remember, the Lord pursuant to um, Ezra, in the regular Bible, chapter 9, verse 13, the Lord punished us less than what our iniquities deserve. Less. All of us are being punished less than what we deserve. Each and every last one of us are being punished less than what we deserve, man. All right? It says, and make you a new heart, meaning a new mind and a new spirit. For why will you die, O house of Israel? Because the Israelites that don't turn back to keep this continuing in their matters, they will, they will eventually get deleted from off the face of the earth. You see, eventually. But you go, you go to Jeremiah, the, uh, the 15th chapter, matter, matter of fact. It says, and I'm, I'm going to read on right quick. For I have no pleasure in the death of him that dieth, saith the Lord Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shai, wherefore turn yourselves, repent. You see, turn yourselves and live. Yeah, and I want to get this. Because <clears throat> so remember, the Lord said He's going to judge them. The Israelites that don't repent, the Lord said He's going to judge you, right? Let's get some of the judgments. Let's get some of the judgments right quick. Let's get Jeremiah, the 15th chapter. Let's just get this. Some of the judgments, for they remember, we're crying aloud. We're sparing not. We're lifting up our voice like trumpets. Look, week in and week out, instant, in season, out of season. That's what we was commanded to do. Jeremiah chapter 15. It's going to be something quick too. Jeremiah chapter 15. I started one. Jeremiah 15 and one in the east. Then said the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shai, to me. Though Moses and Samuel stood before me, yet my mind could not be toward this people. Cast them out of my sight and let them go forth. Because Israel didn't want to take heed, right? And it shall come to pass if they say unto thee, Whether shall we go forth? Then thou shalt tell them. That's it. Because remember, only God could judge you. Remember? Remember the average Negro, Latino, and Native American, their, their favorite quote is, Only God can judge me, right? They got it from Tupac, right? Only God can judge me, right? Well, you're going to judge you, right? It says, then shalt thou tell them, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly call God and Jesus, right? Such as offer death to death, right? You didn't want to turn back, right? You just want to just continue on in your sin, right? You want to worship idols, right? You want to commit adultery, right? You want to worship pagan gods and things of that nature, right? You want to eat your abominable food, right? You want to celebrate the cousins of the heathen, right? The Lord said, such as offer death to death then, and such as offer the sword to the sword straight up being destroyed. It says, and such as offer the famine to the famine. You, you Israelites didn't want to turn back, right? Remember, you Israelites didn't want to turn back, right? You wanted all the smoke, right? You said you wanted all the smoke, right? You said you wanted all the smoke, right? And such as offer the famine to the famine. Being deleted by way of starvation, that's what's going to happen to the majority of our people, right? As such as are for the captivity to the captivity. And then the Lord got these spirits created events. Look, some of you Israelites going to end up into a concentration camp. Some of you Negroes, Latinos, and they're making the Israelite men and women, you're going to end up in a concentration camp, right? It says, and I will point over them four kinds. Save the Lord is always, thus save the Lord, thus save the Bible. And when words can't teach, guess what? Adversity will, all right? And I will point over them four kinds, save the Lord, Yahweh, yeah, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly call God and Jesus, the sword to slay. I, th I thought the God of the Bible was all about love. I thought he was all love, Israel. You see? And the dogs to tear. And the dogs to tear. Remember, remember, who let the dogs out? And the fowls of the heaven, meaning these birds, birds going to be attacking our people. They didn't want to turn back. I just read, repent. 
I just read Ezekiel chapter 18, verse 30, for Israel to repent. Oh, oh, why will ye die, O house of Israel? The dogs that tear the fowls of heaven and the beasts of the earth to devour and destroy. So, so, so Israel, is you going to turn it back or what? Is you gonna is you gonna turn back away? We're supposed to be doing the things that are pleasing. Matter of fact, I want I want to get that right quick. Let's just go to Sirach right quick. Let's just go here. Let's go to Sirach. We'll go to two. Let's go to Sirach two right quick. Another 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 warning session. Repent. Sirach chapter two. Just going down to the bottom. Sirach chapter two. Verse 15, they that fear, it's, it's all about fearing the God of the Bible. I always tell myself, oh, I love the Lord. No, no, we, we better fear. We look, look, and my phone chimed in. We better fear Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. What it say? They that fear the Lord will not disobey his word. Are, are we not hearing this? Are, are we not hearing what the Bible is saying, right? You, you didn't even know the average Israelite didn't even know that this was in the Bible. Because the only thing they do at church, you know what I'm saying, is just dance and sing. You got, you got pastors at churches now. You got these folks probably they in the church now getting haircuts when they're supposed to be teaching now. They, they, in the, they in front of the congregation getting haircuts now. You know, church church ain't nothing but a concert now. You see a holler house. You see? And, and you know the, the majority of the people that, that are in the, that, that are hardest. You know what that mean, Right? It says, they that fear the Lord will not disobey his word, and they that love him. You, you say you love the Lord, right? If loving the Lord is wrong, then you don't want to be right, right? Will keep his ways. You're going to at least, you you told me you love the Lord, right? You're going to at least, if you do, you're going to at least rehearse the righteous acts of the Bible to the best of your ability, right? They that fear the Lord, see, it's all about fearing, man. Oh, why will you die, O house of Israel? So-called Negroes, Latinos, and they don't make any descent. And Israelite foreigners that's been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth that may look like these heathen nations. But your bloodline goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, right? Your forefathers, right? The Lord said, they that fear the Lord will seek that which is well-pleasing unto him. The Lord told us the do's and the don'ts, all right? It says, and they that love him shall be filled with the law. They that fear the Lord will prepare their hearts, meaning they're going to get their minds right and humble their souls in his sight, saying, we will fall into the hands of the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, because there's mercy, because there's mercy. These heathens are not going to show our people any mercy. And not into the hands of men, for as his majesty is, so is his mercy. You fall into the hands of the Lord, eventually you receive mercy. You fall into the hands of these heathens, you get nothing, all right? You fall into the hands of the heathens, you get nothing, right? And what was I, I going to get something, man. We need no new body so bad right about now. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, I know what I wanted. Let's get this right quick. Let's get this. This is Psalms 96, right? Let's see. Psalms 96, verse 4, and it reads, For the Lord Yahweh, through his only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared. Feared Israel. Above all gods. For all the gods of the nations are idols. But the Lord made the heavens. You got Buddha, Allah, Santa Maria, the, the Egyptian gods. And I, I can't I can't think of I can't think of all them gods. But the Lord said, Ain't none unreal. They're all idols. And the Lord said, He's greatest to be feared above all these idols. For the gods of the nations are idols, man. They don't live. They don't breathe. They don't walk. They don't talk. But you got Israelites worshiping. And, and, and it's crazy. It's crazy. We're supposed to be doing the thing. The Lord said, conform not to this world, but be ye transformed by the new renewing of your mind. When you hear this word, you should want to do better. Matter of fact, let's just get that right quick. 
When we hear this word, it should, it, it should make us want to do better. Can't be walking around like, did you got Israelites that heard about this truth? You know what I'm saying? Five, ten years ago. Maybe longer. Still acting in the same way. Ain't changed or nothing. Still acting in the same way, year after year. Ain't changed and ain't repented. You look, 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 got, well, look, got more wicked and evil. You see, as time goes by, I ain't, I ain't said, Lord, forgive me for all my wrong for thoughts, sayings, and doings or nothing. Romans chapter 12, verse 2, and it reads, and conform, and be not conformed to this world. Money, cars, clothes, hoes, lying, just, just, just doing the most right. But be ye transformed. By the renewing of your mind. Once we hear this word, we're supposed to think different. We're supposed to act different. We're supposed to eat differently. All the above. We should be conducting ourselves differently. All the above, man. But be ye, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of the Most High. Now, that should be our only mind state. How, how how can we please the God of the Bible? That's that's it right there. All right. Refrain from youthful lusts and things of that nature. Right. What what can I do to make the heavenly Father through His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, please with my ways? Right. Right. Lord said, don't conform to the ways of this word, word world when you hear this word. Don't conform to the ways of this world when you hear this word, you see? But I'm speaking to the choir right about now, so I'm, I'm just keep on going. Let's just get Acts right quick. Let's just get Acts. Acts chapter 3. Acts chapter 3. Verse 19, and it reads, like Acts chapter 3, verse 19, it reads, repent. Here we, here we go with that word, repent again. It means to turn back sorrowful, regretful, remorseful. Remember, Habakkuk, I, I read it earlier this morning. Habakkuk chapter 3, verse 2. Habakkuk said he heard the words of the Lord, and he was afraid. The average is like they say they ain't scared of nothing. They don't care how bad it's going to get. They're not going to change their wicked ways for nobody. That's what the majority of our people said, right? Acts chapter 3, verse 19. It reads, repent, turn back sorrowful, remorseful, remorseful, regretful for all our wrongful thoughts, sayings, and doings in this life and our former life. Oh, why will you die, O house of Israel? Repent ye therefore and be converted. We got to change, man. You can't stay the same. You got that line passing in that church. You no know sense. Come as you are. The scripture said you got to be converted. You hear this word, you got to turn back and you got to be converted, man. That your sins, what is sin? Transgression of the law, right? The breaking of the law, right? That your sins may be blotted out. When the time of refreshing, and it's a fight. And it's an everyday fight, the flesh against the spirit, the spirit against the flesh. Each and every day is a battle, man. All right? You, look, look, look. We got to fight, though. It says, uh, when the time, look, 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 let me read that again, that your sins may be blotted out. That your sins may be blotted out, Israel. When the time of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Don't you want your sins to be blotted out? When all this deletion, all this destruction, all this mayhem, all this chaos, uh, earthquakes, storms, floods, when it, when it really start cranking up, when the Lord start really cranking it up, when the Lord, when the Lord start really turning this mother out, you know what I'm saying? In the words of MC Hammer, the Lord going to turn this mother out, man. What, 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 what are you going to do then? You play it around. The Lord's coming to turn his mother out, man. Ecclesiastes, I'm just going straight to the point. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13. And it reads, let us sit the conclusion of the whole matter, Israel. Fear the most high. Look, look, we, we, we read Jeremiah, the 15th chapter. The majority of our people are going to be getting fed to animals. Lightning. You, you name it, man. 
you everything. The, the uh, what do you say? Beasts of the earth to devour and destroy. You got you got um hawks, um vultures, different birds pecking on our people, eating them alive. She, man, she, concentration camp, uh, starvation. All these things are going to happen to the wicked of our people. You have been warned. Ecclesiastes 12 and 13 in the reads. Let us hit the conclusion of the whole matter. This is going to sum up everything, Israel. This is going to sum up everything. Fear the Most High Yahweh through His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, who they, who they ignorantly call God and Jesus, and keep His commandments. Rehearse it to the best of your ability. For this is the whole duty of of man and every Israelite on the face of the earth is going to learn this you're either going to learn the easy way or the hard way but guess what you will learn look just like we learn you will learn but the scripture says you got to be fully persuaded in your own mind anyway man you see so you just want to do a quick little lesson on just repenting turning back sorrowful remorseful regretful because the Lord said I'm bringing plagues I'm not bringing peace I'm bringing plagues I'm bringing chaos I'm bringing a famine Tribulation, the hour of temptation, where you, where it's going to be mandatory that you take an implantable device and, and, and the, you know, to buy or sell or get any throughout the city. You see, but oh yeah, as long as that grocery store open, as long as you got that job, as long as you got some money in your bank account, you, the, our people ain't thinking about the Lord. But as soon as they lose, or watch them come running. Soon as they lose it, soon as they lose that house, soon as they lose that job, soon as they lose that car, then they're going to come running. You see? They're going to come, you better run for us, run for us, run. They're going to be running like I don't know what, man. Trying to seek the words of the Lord, but shall not find it. The little repent, make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. That's a rock five and seven, and put not off from day to day. For suddenly, when you least suspect the Israel, turn back. For suddenly, shall the wrath of the Lord Yahweh through His only begotten Son Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly call God and Jesus, shall come forth, and in thy security, thou shall be destroyed and perish. In the day of vengeance, you can't pay the Lord off. He don't want your measly check. You see, hey, everything belongs to the Lord anyway. So how the hell are you going to try to pay the Lord off when everything belongs to him? Repent, Israel. Shalom.